Пусть бегут неуклюже. Hey, I'm Mary. This is my son CJ. We're going to teach you today about German pretzels. I wanted to learn about Germany because I missed him. He was gone for months to visiting Germany. And so I did some research and one of the things we like to do is eat. Mm -hmm. So I researched food, lots of recipes. Um, another thing that interests me very much is history and culture and how that influences food. And so I did some research on that that we'll be sharing with you. We really like pretzels, like the kind you get at the mall. But German pretzels are very different and they have a secret ingredient. So about the culture and the history of German pretzels. Um, Today you're not only going to learn how to make German pretzels, but also kind of the history. Nobody knows exactly why they use the secret ingredient they do, which is lye, food-based lye, which is actually the same chemical that they make soap out of. It's kind of dangerous. We have to wear gloves. We have to be very careful we don't get it on our skin today. Um, it's also very hard to find in America, which is why most pretzels here are made actually with baking soda. Um, probably everybody here has either baked something before, maybe you've baked a cake, maybe you have baked even with a yeast dough, which is what we use to make pretzels, or maybe you've done none of those things but you have eaten a pretzel, so you know what to expect as far as the flavor and that sort of thing. But we're also going to learn new material. Right here we have some dough. We made this ahead of time. I'll show you the recipe in another screen. But we made this ahead of time and it's cold. It came out, just came out of the freezer. Well, it's been thawing, so it came out of the fridge actually. And we are going to do the very first step, which is shaping it into a pretzel. Now, Germans not only have a secret ingredient, but they also have a distinctive shape. So, I'm a little bit crippled, so CJ is going to have to um, model what we're doing. Would you please divide that into about six pieces? Mm -hmm. One thing about the history of a German pretzel is that they say that they originated um, by some monks making them for treats for children who learn scripture verses because the arms of a pretzel are crossed in the middle and so that is kind of similar to the way that they used to pray back then. So they would give it, they called them little prayers, so the hands are crossed like they're praying. No one can knows that for sure can confirm that, but that's kind of historically what they think came from, the origin it came from. Пешеходы по лужам, а вода по асфальту рекой. И не ясно прохожим в этот день не погожий, почему я веселый. Okay, I think you might be ready to make your shape. So. Pretend I have a nice long one, because I don't, because I'm one-handed. It's going to go around. Well, that's actually pretty good. Cross it like this, and then tuck it down like that, which will look a whole lot better with yours. <laughs> Cross it, and then that. Oh. Oh, there you go. okay. So... There you go. Hold it up for the camera so they can see. There's the shape. Okay, good deal. So we're just going to do all of these and lay them out on our sheet. And then we're going to stick them in the fridge for an hour because it kind of dries out the surface and makes them easier to handle. And then comes the secret ingredient. Okay, now we're going to dip the pretzels in our lye solution. На виду, к сожалению, день рождения только раз в году. Прилетит вдруг волшебник в голубом вертолете и бесплатно покажет кино. С днем рождения поздравит и, наверное, оставит мне в подарок 500 из кимо. Ах, я играю на гармошке у прохожих на виду. К сожалению, день рождения только раз в году. К сожалению, день рождения только раз. Okay, now it is time to assess 
our results. Our shape is not quite as large as a German pretzel should be or as dark, but they smell really, really good. And now we're going to eat it just like a German does, split in half with butter. How is it? That's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. And it tastes a lot like them. It's really like crispy on the outside, just like soft and chewy on the inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, now that you've had this lesson, try making pretzels at home. Try thinking about the culture and history of recipes as you cook them. I think that it adds to the enjoyment of eating and enjoying the dish. Thanks. Пусть бегут неуклюже пешеходы по лужам, а вода по асфальту рекой. И неясно прохожим в этот день непогожий, почему я веселый такой. Ах, я играю на гармошке у прохожих на виду. К сожалению, день рождения.